Good afternoon, my good friend. This is Dr. Cherry again from the Arizona with something quite interesting for you to read and watch today. The video won't be too long, okay? Um, but the newsletter has something you really, really want to enjoy, especially all the pictures. I spent hours writing it for your entertainment and for your education. So without any further delay, let's go into it. And that is the title. After risky spine surgery, the surgeon told me not to plan any travel. There is what happened when I didn't listen. There you go. That's me. I was in Cannes at a specialized spine surgery clinic. And today we are March 13. So in two months from today, March, April, May, yes, three months uh, or so, it'll be a year, a year since I had this surgery. So when you look at it, it's pretty fresh. Of course, the story came from CNN with that young lady here who did what I did, but nothing closed to what I did. So again, you may read all about Pamela's story when you click on the link right here, okay? And uh, as I said, in my case, I took some serious, serious chances and paid a severe price for it. My story is under there. Again, as you all know, as a popular UFO contactee, astrologist, and motiva motivational speaker, I did travel the world and visited many, many foreign countries. Like Pamela, I did enjoy the culture of Thailand, Japan, Australia, and many European countries. Okay, now following my surgery in May 2023, my French surgeon told me very clearly, Louis, do not fly or even drive long distance for about six months. If not, you may pay the price, you may suffer. Now to heal faster, of course, I used to walk between two to four miles every day on the sandy beaches of Cannes in the south of France. After three months of healing at home, I felt good enough, and I flew back to the U.S. a week after July the 4th. The trip back home was fine, and I foolishly thought I was ready to fulfill my dream to drive to Key West and work as a boat captain. I was very upset also because I knew my 52-year-old son, Remy, was battling brain cancer. And upon spending many, many hours, a lot of time with him in France, I knew I would never see him again. I had to occupy my mind awaiting his demise. But surely, I never thought he would go so fast. And unless you lose a child, you'll never know the depth, the pain that I had to go under. Now, there is much more to this story. And as I said, I don't want to make a long video because I know the newsletter has much more to offer you. So read it, enjoy it, and we shall see you again. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.